Hey guys, welcome back to TechShan.com. Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference 2013 went well. One big announcement was iOS 7. Today we are going to check out iOS 7. It has not yet been launched to the general public, only developers get access to the beta version so all the bugs and issues are sorted out before it's ready for release. Now this is a major release of iOS since its original introduction in 2007 with the iPhone. After Johnny Ive took charge of the design team at Apple, there were a lot of speculations of, and uh, rumors on iOS being redesigned and yes, all rumors were true. So let's go ahead and see what iOS is all about. The first thing is it's completely redesigned. Every element of the OS is redesigned to give it a modern and flat look. Animations have been updated, new features and more. I want to keep this video short so I'll run through only the overall interface and highlight a few major features. First off, the lock screen. Now the lock screen has changed for the first time in iOS history. It has a neat new modern design. And at last we can have animated wallpapers. Also the new feature to hit the updated version of iOS 7 is the addition of notification center on top of the lock screen and a control center at the bottom of the lock screen so allowing users to manage the notifications without unlocking their device. Second, the home screen. As you can see, the icons and almost everything from the buttons to the switches to the chrome surrounding the apps have been modernized and flattened. The new design makes your phone kind of appear bigger because each app makes better use of the screen. The signal bar on the upper left corner of the phone has also been replaced with a series of dots. Now, every built-in application like the messages, calendar, mail, music, etc. have been redesigned to the new look and feel. Folders can now support hundreds of apps. The 12 to 16 app limit is the thing of the past. Third is multitasking. Now multitasking has been upgraded with support for all apps. The new card based interface is pretty cool and gives you a bird's eye view of what's happening at the back. Not just limited services or stock apps that earlier versions of iOS were limited to, the new features lets app update in the background without affecting battery life. Fourth is Safari. Now Safari as you know is a built in web browser in iOS. It now features improved full screen browsing, gesture based navigation and more. It also has improved tab browsing. Now let me go ahead and open a site. Now, as you can see, Safari uses the entire full screen. It uses the entire space to display the website. It's cool. And the best part is switching between tabs. The card based interface is so cool. You can switch tabs with so much ease and also moving tabs is really cool. The animation is pretty cool. Now, Safari for iOS also supports Apple's new iCloud keychain, syncs between password and also has private browsing option. Fifth is Siri. Now as you know Siri is your personal assistant. You can dictate Siri to do stuff for you using your voice. Siri has been redesigned as well. Flat new interface with more languages added to the list. Apple has added more commands to Siri. Now you can ask Siri things like turn on your Bluetooth, adjust brightness with display and more. Even though Siri is not officially launched in India, it works for people with good English accent. Sixth is Control Center and Notification. Now Control Center is the name of the new swipe up option that gives you quick access to commonly used functions. It lets you control your music, toggle airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight, brightness and more. Needless to say, iOS users have been asking this feature for a long time. The notification gives you an overview of all notifications. You can access it by swiping down from the top of the screen. Seventh is AirDrop. Now AirDrop is a new feature that lets you share content like photos, images and more with other iOS users over the air. It's magical. Again, iOS users wanted it for a long time. Eighth thing I want to show you is camera and photos. Now the camera app has been refreshed with improved UI, four options, video, photo, square frame and panorama and has some cool filters added to it. Also upgraded is the photos app which features the same flat design as the other stock apps. The app organizes images by time and location and can provide an overview of all the pictures you have taken in a particular year. It also has gesture based pop-up previews of the images you are, that you want to bring up by sliding your finger across the grid of images like this. In addition to sharing still images, Photos supports sharing video through iCloud too. Ninth is the phone app. Now the phone app also features the same flat redesign as the other stock apps. 
We have a new keypad interface which is flat and neat. Contacts and all other sections are also pretty neat and organized. Now let me go ahead and show you how it looks when a call comes. So let me make a phone call here. Yep, here you go. Now here is the incoming call screen. You get a couple of options. Now I can answer or reject a call. I can even reject a call with a message. Here's a screen. Here's the options I get. Now if I decide to accept the call. Now this is the screen I'll see. It is really clean, neat and flat. We have all these options, the keypad and uh, the mute, the, the ad call, the con contacts, speaker and more. So it's pretty neat. Also iOS 7 allows me to block phone calls from specific contacts. Other new features on iOS 7 includes notification sync across devices, FaceTime audio calls over Wi-Fi, new music player, improved FaceTime video calls, messaging, and more. There's so much enhanced features that iOS has. You got to get your hands on one to experience it. It's so cool. So overall, a change that was much needed since its original introduction. Kudos to Apple and especially Johnny Ive and his team. Fantastic job. Hope you all love it when it's out as much as I do. Hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Dexon.com as always for more tech stuff.